Why am I supposed to be scared of Agenda 2025? You're not. Well, that's something that was written by the Heritage Foundation. It have nothing to do with who Trump is. Trump purposely didn't read it because he doesn't even want to be associated with it. He said that from what he understands, what he's been told, there's some things he does like, some things he don't like. But in any case, you know, it's, it's there's so much shit there. I would be lying to you if I said I read the whole shit. But the things that people were pointing out weren't that bad. A lot of the shit is shit that's done anyway. And like I said, it's not something that Trump endorses or plays on pushing. Now, if you want to be, if you want to get down to that type of shit, just take yourself to Trump's website where he denounces it, number one, and you'll see that he has his own thing called Agenda 47, which there's some things on there I agree with and some things I don't I don't agree with. But okay, that's okay, Israel. Hold on. Those are Israel policies. Tell us the things you do not agree with. Obviously. Like I said, well, I know the Israel thing, and I can't remember. Is this is on his Agenda 47? I, I can't remember if Agenda okay. 50, if that's on there or not. But the whole uh, thing about the police... I believe that's on there, and I don't like that. And I have to look at it again, you know what I'm saying? But I just know that his exact things are on his website. Project yeah. 2025 is just a boogeyman, once again, that they use to just scare people. That's all the left do is just try to scare people. They just they just scare you. They're going to have your back in chains. Nobody in their fucking right mind believes fucking black people are ever going to be back in chains. Like, get the fuck out of here. But all they do is fear tactics. You know what I'm saying? You put Trump in, the police are going to keep killing y'all. You know what I'm saying? The, the gays are going to die. Well, sir, you know I say like this. If, if if he's giving the police blanket immunity, that can continue to probably happen. Blanket immunity doesn't mean that the cops won't get prosecuted. But it'll mean that they don't have to testify. That is a big hurt piece. For the, that is a big hurt piece whenever it comes to, you know what I'm saying, injustice. Like, I won't, you know what I'm saying, I won't deny that. That's not a deal breaker for me, though. It's just not. Because if it ends up being that, then that means that's just something that we have to fight. But there's a lot of other things that we won't have to fight anymore. So uh, well, well, I'll I, take it. Okay, my thing is this. There's certain things happening with the police right now, and they don't have blanket immunity. And they get away with things, so... And there's people out there fighting and and doing certain things. So, what makes oh. you think that 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 could actually happen? Continue to fight if Trump gets in there and they have blanket immunity. What do you mean? I mean, I don't know. You said, I, I think I think it's a bad thing. I mean, I don't have any way. Okay. To, I don't have anything. Okay. To say so, oh, that's I, the one. Oh, my I, bad. That's the one yeah. of those things you disagree with. My bad. My yeah. Bad. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think it's a horrible idea. It's just not a deal breaker for me because okay. there's just so much other stuff. Pardon me. You know what I'm saying? And uh, one thing that Trump actually has said a couple of times before that he's in favor for is going back to community policing, which means the police will come from the communities from which they serve. And that's 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 a big thing. I haven't heard about him talk about it about it as much as I would like to, but I've heard him say that. You know I, what have that I have that where I, where I live at and you do too. Yeah, but not like we used to. Like, you can still, we still have out-of-town cops, and, you know, if the city wanted to, they could fill That's the city up That's for major with. cities. They're not talking about our little province. <laughs> no, I'm saying, no, we, uh, but no, th what I'm saying is police would have to be filled with people from your community as opposed to anybody coming from out. Like, yeah, we have hometown cops here. Half these cops are from and live in New Kent, but it's not because... They could only police these communities. They bought a police at home. But having the police, look at the big cities. You know what I'm saying? Where you got these fucking white cops from, you know, middle class Brooklyn, you know, policing the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, fam. And that, I I agree. I mean, that's I, that could be one solution, but. Again, now, there's no solution. That's just something that would I mean, help. that could be one it's not, thing. It's not that, a solution. That could be one thing that could help, but again, if. You know, if you're not paying these service people, you know, we can get deeper into that when it comes to nurses it, and teachers and all. If you're not paying those people to, it, it, to be listen, that. If somebody's if somebody's voting solely on whether the police get immunity or not, then go ahead and vote for Kamala. But if you're voting for a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? You got to weigh things against each other. I'm not going to be happy with everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. But there's certain things I am going to be happy with. You know what I'm saying?
So I, I feel I feel I feel you on that. And um There's no I'll tell you what, there's no government cure to racism. So people need to just leave that shit alone. <laughs> they, they no government policy to cure racism. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because it's a mind state. There's, you know, you can't. Yeah, like, listen, there's always going to be individuals that are prejudiced against other people, and it's fucked up. Yeah, but you know see, what I'm there's saying? a difference. It's super fucked up. There's a difference between prejudice and racism. I, I, you yeah. know. Well, I was just saying for, for okay. both, but I'm just saying when you want to talk systematic racism, systematic racism is the fucking lack of school choice. You know what I'm saying? Unarming people. You know, the left don't want to. The left don't want fucking poor people choosing their schools, going to better schools. The left don't want us to be armed. That was all in the slave code. Like, that's how you kept a slave. You kept them unarmed. You made them unable to be able to read. And this is what the fuck they doing to us, fam. And to interject on something on that, any country, continent, whatever, that's effed up, they are unarmed. Just think about that. Yes and no. <laughs> no, because look at Africa. Africa's all fucked up, and everybody's armed in Africa. No, I'm talking about. Countries. I'm talking about as far as on paper, sir. You know, what what saying? You like we well, can go and register and get a gun and on paper, those are all illegal guns. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You can't get guns in a lot of yeah. places. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like you just, you just can't get them. As a, as a, the reason why the reason why we have a right to bear and, arms and, and is to New protect York, you us. You have to be damn near an ex cop to get one. Yeah, or a business owner or yeah. something like that. But uh, they fucking uh, we have the right to bear arms to protect us from a tyrannical government. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This government has been tricking us to make it not look tyrannical and try to unarm us. It's crazy. I'm making the fakest ass arguments about it. You know, the most mass shootings happen by handguns, but they're trying to ban. Assault rifles, for no, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care. We don't, nobody really needs an assault rifle, I guess. You can make that argument, but I mean, it's your right, and it doesn't make a difference if they're available or not. I want to give a. Uh... But I think, I think that's the plan, though. I think that's the plan because most mass shootings happen with handguns, right? Mm-hmm. I think they're going to take away the assault rifles. This is just a theory. Hold on. <laughs> But uh, fucking uh, I think the plan is to fucking take away the to ban the assault rifles, right? And then uh, when they realize that the fucking banning of the assault rifles don't work, then they go ahead and ban the handguns. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think for right now, the future is San Francisco. He's sneezing. I, I think for right now, what they want for right now is San Francisco. Is what? San Francisco is their model right now. What about it? The Anarchy. Fucking, <laughs> Anarchy. Yeah, fucking dystopia. Anarchy. A dystopia. That, uh... And I remember San Fran... Like, San Francisco... Like, I remember being younger. It used to be, like, one of those places that, you know... You, right. You know what I mean? It'd be dope to live there. Like, San Francisco so dope. It had so much culture and heritage. And it's like, from what I see, I, obviously I don't live there, but from what I see via it the internet, it's a fucking hellhole there. It was a mix, though, because it also had its big uh, hippie drug sex culture parts, too. They had a lot of debauchery. San Francisco always has. But now I hear the entire San Francisco is a hellhole. After Kamala, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just like California. Um, educate me. Does the defund the police movement have anything to do with what's going on in San Francisco? I, uh, yeah, yeah. They pulled the police out of certain neighborhoods with defund the police because they replaced them with specialists, and then they just don't be responding to crimes. And people like to to uh, deny that, but it's true. So that's how I'm... Defund the police sounded good in theory, but it just didn't work. And it, and what they said in theory is not the way they practiced it. So that's why you can see people going in the stores just grabbing racks of clothes and, and people can't do nothing about it. Well, with that, that's because, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why. I don't know, man. Like, this is some tinfoil hat shit again, but they might want more of us in jail and replace us with these immigrants because they keep doing wild shit, but they did what they did was they made it uh, 
a felony. They they rose the amount it is to be a felony. So you could run inside a store and, and grab nine hundred dollars worth of shit and just have to pay a fine. You're not going to jail for that shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and again, what do you say? Because there's some rhetoric out there about the immigrants, and I'm, I'm glad you said that because it triggered a question. They said that the immigrants are here, whether they be Haitian, whatever, they replace the uh, quote-unquote African-American vote. Yeah, I said that. Can you elaborate on it? I'm saying that if they were ever given, given I'm just saying if they were given voting rights, our vote wouldn't matter anymore. The black vote, what they call the black vote, it, just, it wouldn't matter if, if they, if, if you know what I'm saying, if the immigrants could vote. You know what I'm saying? Listen, we need, this is the only country like it. This country is built by immigrants. We need people coming to this country in order for it to thrive. You know what I'm saying? But this illegal immigrant shit where we're, you know what I'm saying, allowing these drugs to come in and some of them being criminals and us not fixing our domestic problems before we start giving them a bunch of money and bringing them in. Like, that shit got to stop. You know what I'm saying? It got to be regulated. And then we got to start bringing people in the right way because we need people to come here. This, well, this is, this is, this is not too far. Good. They tried to call Tucker Carlson a racist because he said that, because he, because he's one of those people on the replacement theory. And he's like, you know, you want to, re- you, you're, you're scared of, of white people being replaced by, by the immigrants. It's like, no, I'm scared of Americans. I'm scared of, of white people. I'm scared of the, the, the black guy that I work with over, right over there. You know what I'm saying? I'm scared for all Americans to, to be replaced. What, uh, H, H, oh, okay. So the, everybody's going to get replaced by immigrants, basically. That's what right. he's, is that what he's saying? Yeah. Okay. Because I never, yeah. I never, I didn't, I didn't know what replacement theory was. I told you I don't follow that stuff anymore. I'm Listen, glad I don't. <laughs> like, you know, I don't have the answers to this. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I can't say it's some, like, like I said, like you get more, more seats in the house, but just ask yourself, why is it so important that they let all these people come into the country? Like, why is it that important? There's no other country like that. That is like, yo, come on, come on, come on, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, why? Like, what is the reason that we're so, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. You I- know what I'm saying? Like, I said like this, and you know, and I'm gonna bring a little bit of humor or light to it, but th- th- that on your point, being a boxing fan has made me a patriot almost, because <laughs> like for real, it's like because if we go to anybody else's country, and they you know do the uh, American thing, oh say can you see thingy, you know what I'm saying, they boo us out of the building when we come when they come over here and fight us everybody's anthem gets sung and we got to stand up for everybody's anthem and we're all respectable nobody boos nobody does nothing we should be patriots fam like it or not we're fucking americans we're here you know what i'm saying for uh, certain you, kinds you, of you're gonna hey, listen sir <laughs> let me finish let me finish glenn you're playing you it's all to... about you i ain't gonna say that man no i'm just saying like you know you. okay there's fucked up stories and, and and you know what i'm saying like many of us have, have had to go through these you know, they have this fucked up history here in America. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we're here. And at the end of the day, all our forefathers, all our people that we respect, all our heroes that we died here, they died trying to live the American dream, fam. They died being trying to be patriots. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost disrespectful to not want to be a patriot. You can be a patriot. You can be self-deprivating. Dep- deprecating. I can't I never say that word right. I, I, hear what, I know what you're saying. You could, be that. you could be a patriot and still criticize, you know what I'm saying, the things that are wrong that's going on in here. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, w- w- what you're going to be if you're not a patriot? What you going to be if you're not a nationalist? You're a meist? Like, it's just me? You know what I'm saying? Is it my peopleist? Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? I, my people have, I, I, my, I have my people that I love and I have my people that have drawn guns on me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you going to be? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What? Okay, I'm gonna ask you a question. With that being said, do you do you think that people that identify as Trump supporters look at you as a patriot? But what do you mean? Because now you're lumping all Trump supporters into one thing. You're talking about the the cultists, the uh, Trump cultists, uh, uh, the the the, 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 the proud boy types, the proud boy types. I mean, if 
if they ask me what I believe in, then yeah. So do you think that they would recognize you as a patriot? Yes. 